good morning and welcome to UTC Sports News. On a cold, wet night in Devonport Park, UTC Rally played their first school game against an exceptional creative art style. The lads were already rolled up before going out onto the pitch as Polly and Joe gave them two impassioned speeches to the backdrop of the Gladiator theme tune. Our opponents were a mix of Year 10 and 11s and have had recent success in the FA Schools Cup. The game started in positive fashion for UTC with our boys passing it around and linking up as if they'd been playing together for years rather than weeks. A host of chances came and went with UTC doing everything but score. Ross, Josh, Toby and Dylan all came close in a great first half before Ross Harries played a splitting ball through to the ever eager Dylan McClaw who clipped the ball back past the keeper uh, into the net to put the All Blacks ahead. We would say though, Dylan, he should have pressed more beforehand. The half ended, thank you for that Mike. The half ended with host of corners for UTC, with the only worrying moment for the host arriving when Harry House hammered the ball back to Corey only to find the bumblebee had flown his nest that was nearer the halfway line. Thankfully, Corey managed to get back just in time, avoiding a sting in the tail for UTC. The second half was much more evenly contested with UTC now kicking up the hill. While still creating some good opportunities, UTC struggled to find the killer ball despite working really hard as a team and winning lots of the battles on display. In a rare creative arts attack, the ball broke kindly and at the edge of the area after a catalogue of errors for the home team needing to a place finish to put the visitors level. The next 10 or so minutes were very tense with rare goal mouth action. The game became a much more cautious and rugged affair with the outcome on a knife edge. As the night drew in and vision was just starting to become impaired, UTC had a couple of glorious chances that lacked a finish. Finally though, UTC struck a late blow after a massive goal mouse scramble, culminating in Cody Jeffrey apparently chesting it in. Although if rumours are to be believed, there may have been a hint of handball. We have our very own hand of God, or should I say, hand of Jeff. In all seriousness though, the goal was the least the boys deserved after a fine performance and they very nearly added a third after a late drama and lots of chances narrowly missed. The final whistle was blown by Maka and UTC had ended their first ever football match with a win! Yay! Yay! A truly proud moment to be a part of this great school. Now just quickly before we go to commercial, we do have the ref with us, uh, Maka. Would you like to say a few words on your controversial decision? Um, <laughs> I've been Mike. I've been Kelly. Thank you we for are tuning in. Kelly and Mike. <laughs> Kelly and Mike. <laughs> UTC Sports News, over and out. <laughs>